Hello everyone. I'm Rahul Kapoor, data architect of IPgram, which is a global intellectual property database. We manage over 1 billion records of data that are completely scalable for real time business intelligence. Today, I will share top seven skills needed to become a big data analyst, especially for students, faculty and professionals from a non programming background or sort of. Don't worry very much about the order because it's never one or the other or one after the other. Uh, it's always your skill set as a whole that counts. So having gotten that out of the way, let's go for it. So the first will be domain knowledge. Yes, that's right. Without knowledge in some domain and a good understanding of the vicissitudes of data, you will only have a hard time and produce suboptimal results. C coming from an academic background, I've seen researchers getting super happy when they get hands on data, knowing little that the hard part has only just begun. Number two uh, would be SQL, hands down the most important skill in my opinion. Uh, whenever you visit the World Wide Web, chances are you are being served content from an SQL database. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you name it, pretty much anyone who is in the web business is using SQL. Uh, good thing is SQL is super easy. You can learn it really fast. Uh, challenging thing is uh, advanced stuff like data warehousing, uh, data pipelining and optimization with big data will require some experience. But nevertheless, uh, SQL uh, should be on the top of the list for you. Uh, there is a three hour comprehensive video on YouTube by Mosh Hamidani on MySQL with which you can begin and basically become an expert uh, for free. Uh, it's a really good video and I will add a link of that to the description. Uh, the third would be spreadsheets. I've added spreadsheets to the list rather reluctantly uh, since we fulfill most of our analytics requirements with SQL and Python slash JavaScript. Um, uh, but it is true that the very basics of using structured data uh, analysis, transformation, cleaning, preparation, uh, and even analytics and statistics is learned using Excel or other spreadsheet programs. So uh, sound skills with uh, spreadsheet software, efficient use of shortcuts, pivot tables, VLOOKUPs can help you go a long way as a data analyst. Uh, it forms part of the basics and it's mostly a given that you know uh, how to use spreadsheets. Number four would be business intelligence tools. Uh, BI tools like Tableau, Power BI, Google Data Studio are a natural extension of spreadsheets. Uh, they are great for building professional analytics reports and dashboards. You can access data from different sources and make reports uh, that can be easily shared with colleagues, top management or even customers. Uh, BI tools uh, offer much better features over Excel in terms of the volume of data and uh, automating some tasks, handling more complex data and so on. So Google Data Studio is free. You can simply go to datastudio.google.com and get started on your professional BI journey basically. Uh, the next would be statistics. Uh, while the job of analytics is to help you see what your data looks like and maybe to generate hypothesis, uh, but statistics will help you to test your hypothesis and answer more why questions from from your data uh, from creating basic metrics like uh, from your from your aggregations like mean median mode uh, variances and standard deviations to performing sound correlation and regression analysis uh, statistics will uh, take your data science game to a really new level so follow Casey Kozirkov on Twitter uh, subscribe to her YouTube channel and read her blogs on medium and towards data science to learn more about statistics machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, so number six would be cloud computing architecture. Uh, pretty much any individual startup or big company uh, nowadays who are into software and app development will use some kind of cloud services. So uh, knowledge of uh, the various uh, cloud services, storage options, understanding how virtual machines work will help you build apps, uh, automate tasks and possibly talk to developers, which is a very important requirement for non programmers sometimes. So Google Cloud gives you $300 of free credit to start with uh, and basically experiment with all their cloud services. Uh, Amazon Web Services has a 12 month free tier, which allows you to use some of its services for free. And I'm sure that Microsoft Azure uh, will also have some free starting tier for learning purposes. So basically sky is the limit uh, when it comes to cloud. Uh, so like literally uh, you can say sky is the limit. Uh, number seven, last but not the least is Linux or Windows CLI. Command line interface or CLI will be your friend and possibly change your life. Uh, when you are playing with big data, chances are that your local computer does not have, a have the necessary disk space uh, and you don't go about carrying uh, tens of different external hard drives. So with Linux shell commands, uh, you can connect to virtual machines on the cloud, you can manage directories, you can make curl commands, you can access REST APIs, uh, build data pipelines, connect to SQL instances and much more. So uh, 
you can search YouTube for the most common command line interface commands uh, for your operating systems. And getting started is rather easy with a bunch of commands, and it does not require any strict programming. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, those were my top seven big data analyst skills that can help boost your career. If you like the video, please leave a like uh, or share it with your friends. Uh, make sure to check out the description of the video uh, for our latest events and some resources. Uh, have a great day ahead and see you in the next one.